Welcome, everyone, to Lubbock, Texas, Jones AT&T Stadium, where their tortillas will be flying in celebration and in support of their beloved Texas Tech Red Raiders. We're really looking forward to this matchup. We've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on another team from the Big 12, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Buffaloes will kick it away first. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Texas Tech Red Raiders offense will have the first possession of the game. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame he can really utilize. The Red Raiders racing to the line in the hurry up. Back to pass, it's Morton. Avoid, and the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Man, this offense has been bad. How about the first play? Nowhere to go, nowhere to run, tackle for a loss. Second play, you get your quarterback sacked. And the third play, now we're sitting in third and long, right where this defense wants to get us. I'm not sure you have much in the script to convert a third and this long on the opening drive. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Finds a crease at the 20. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man quickly. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Well, this tight end is so athletic that at times they'll line him up in different parts of the field. That time he was in the slot. Nice job running the route, finding the open space in the defense for the completion. And the Red Raiders are moving quickly down the field. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Dropping back, it's Morton. He's got his man. Tackle is made at the 48. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The Red Raiders have it with a first and ten. Caught in the backfield, it's Kelly. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. And the Red Raiders come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. 
How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, that was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, getting the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. Line getting set on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Douglas. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? Ninth play of the drive coming up, but they'll have to convert third and long to keep it going. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. That big play really has them in business. It's first and 10 from the 11. From the red zone, it's Brooks. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll keep it on the ground. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Red Raider. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will have its first possession of the game. And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's eh, a different animal. Might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Uh, a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Horn. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. 
when you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Got a man. It's Hunter. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Fires to the middle. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. And the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Ready to fire from the pistol. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. And a nice job by the offense picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. And the Buffaloes are threatening in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. This quarterback was having success throwing on the opening drive of the game, in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down when the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready. Had a really good coverage call to get the INT. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. The Red Raiders want to crank the tempo. Caught in the backfield, it's Kelly. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Texas Tech is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Grab behind the line, it's Kelly. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Morton. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Red Raiders will bring the punt team onto the field. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Horn. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. 
hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. He'll put the tight end in motion. To the ground with the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll leave it with him. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You, got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, going to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. They'll throw it on first down. Spits it out to the back. Using the quick game. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? We've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. The Buffaloes will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. Getting some heat. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. And the D deny them on second and goal. Trying to barge their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buffs! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Handoff to the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. The Red Raiders headed quickly to the line. Dropping back, it's Morton. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Makes a connection. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go. The football had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Red Raiders will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Oh, that's, that's a tough one. It's a wide receiver screen. You know, that's a throw, short, easy pass to catch, wrangle it in. Maybe he started looking down the field a little bit too fast right there, but you've got to make those catches. Those are way too easy. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll try to pop the draw. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here. But, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Looking for a man. It's Morton. Get it out on the screen. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. He's going to pass. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, it's been a little bit of a seesaw here the last two plays. Offense gets a chunk play, and then the defense gets a sack. Great job by the defense there, turning the page and coming up with the big one. The 
This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the move. You know, it's hard enough just to catch passes in college football, but to do it while also being cognizant of where you are in the field and making sure you get a foot down inbounds, that's really impressive. A third and long here. They can pick up the first down without getting the touchdown. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the end zone. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got the back over the middle. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Lubbock. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Jones AT&T Stadium. The Red Raiders will kick it away to crank up the second half. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. It's a draw. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. A third and long coming up here. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Well, you get the incompletion there on third down. You've still got a half of football basically to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, then you've got to stay out there and you've got to go for this and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. 
Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that – get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They'll run play action. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. And the quarterback is snowed under. Great job by the pass rush up front. Third and long situation. They're anticipating pass, and they know the quarterback's going to have to hold on to the football. Nice job pinning their ears back and getting home. And the Red Raiders will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against me. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Now, after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative column. Yeah, and I'm banking on the ball coming out quick. When, when I'm a defense and understanding third and short, understand they're going to throw the ball really quickly, try to make a play. The defense knew it, broke on the football, made a nice tackle to force a fourth down. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Here's the handoff. Just buried it. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I know that wasn't a huge, sexy gain. I know not everybody's jumping up and down, but what it does do is put you in a great position to succeed on second down. Second and 10, really hard. Third and 10, really hard. Now you're in a manageable situation. It really gives you the whole playbook. Looking to throw, it's Morton. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. Off he goes. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Red Raiders. It's so challenging to stop the middle of the field passes deep down. You stretch me in these zones. I got to run with you, man. It's always a good idea to run those deep posts, and you could tell they saw it all the way. Receiver quarterback on same page gets the big touchdown.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Now, last drive didn't take long, just two plays to get it in. And they cap things off with a big play up top, going 63 yards to the house. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. They're getting this guy lathered up. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Leaves it with the running back. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Back to throw, it's Sanders. They're setting up the screen. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Buffaloes will call on their punt team. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They'll run it from the gun. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of 4. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Tackled after picking up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Off play action on first down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, this offense might want to think about moving the launch point for this QB because if you take hits like that from the pocket, it's really tough to complete passes. The incompletion on first down. Now they face a second and 10 from the 31. Looking downfield, it's Morton. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. It's hard for an offense to win when you get predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. The Red Raiders want to move quickly. Comes out throwing on first down. Pulls it in. It's Brooks. And they're going to lose yardage there. The defense completely owning the front. 
You know, that's one as a quarterback, when you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it away. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense there. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Third and short from the 49 is this four down territory. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the sticks, it's Douglas. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a man. It's Morton. Fakes the grab on the left. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. Reads it, fires complete. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Makes the catch. It's McCray. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They're going to throw it again. Makes the catch. It's McCray. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And the Red Raiders come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. He makes a grab! And he goes down after making the grab. Picked up a few, but he's still short of the first down marker. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. It'll be second down. And remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. He leaves it with the back. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Fires to the end zone! Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away, and that's one he'd like to have back. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Try to barge their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Complete downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. To the air on first down. He unleashes a long one. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Hunter. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll go to the ground. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. and They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Might as well give it to him again. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give to the tailback. Got some room headed to the goal. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. I think it's just too little too late, David, at this point. That's a play that they could have used a lot earlier in this game, but because of miscues, they're down by a lot late, and I don't think they're going to have enough time to claw back into this one. Yeah, and I'm fine with you running that play if you want to do that. My goal now is with this lead, if you want to run it, so be it. But just don't give up the big plays. Let that clock continue to roll. Make him earn it all the way down the field and take a lot of time off that clock. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Two of their three red zone trips have come up empty. They'd like to punch it in here. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And there is no secret about it. Line up in goal line formation. I'm going to run the ball down your throat. My guys are more physical than you. Six points on the play. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, but they're still down 24-14. An 84-yard drive there and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. 
If they're going to pull off this big rally, they'll need to get this one back. They line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Off, keep working on that clock. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The Red Raiders racing to the line in the hurry up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. 57 yards out, and he powers it through the upright. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Gets it out fast. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking to throw at Sanders. Picked off. Looking for more room. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt, but this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive, and to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Line gets set, first down. With the game in hand, the offense choosing to just have the quarterback take a knee. 